What's up guys, so Underground Reptiles contacted me yesterday and told me that a shipment I've been waiting for was in stock and that they were going to send me two of them even though I had refunded my payment because it had been three months. I decided to say, okay, you have only, you only have two of them in, you have the two saved for me, you guys had me on the listing and me only because you only needed the two for me. That's all they really cared to have in stock, honestly, if you ask me. And uh, they're supposed to be giant Australian prickly stick insects. Now, you tell me how two six-inch bugs are fitting in this. So, unless they're in extremely shallow or extremely long and slender enclosures, which they very well could be, which I highly doubt they are, these are juveniles. Now, I got on the website last night, and they had posted on there baby Australian prickly stick insects. Baby, baby Australian giant, baby giant Australian prickly stick insects. I English very well today, apparently. And now when they called me yesterday, they didn't say anything about juveniles because they said what I was waiting for was in, which were two adult female prickly stick insects. They had them labeled as adult females. Adult, I have a screenshot and everything I will put in here. So these are more than likely gonna be juveniles. So there were three items contained. So maybe there's, maybe there's three babies. And that's not really compensation in my opinion because I was buying adults. I didn't want juveniles. Juveniles are way harder to fucking take care of because the nymphs die extremely easily. And if these fuckers start dying, I'm not going to be a very happy camper. Never had a problem with underground reptiles, but the fact that I was not informed about having juveniles, potentially, it's an issue for me because they also have to have packing and styrofoam inside here, which means there's about this much styrofoam and probably about that much packing, which means there's three little vials in here. Could be arboreal, could be terrestrial vials with, with paper towels inside of them. And they're supposed to be adults, but they're juveniles. I can already prove it just due to this right here. I mean, this motherfucker is small. So let's go ahead, get this started, let's unbox it, and um, maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong, but I called them last night, and they were not open. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning, so I left the voicemail. Have not been heard back from. It's now 9.30, almost 10. It, it, was, oh, it, well, it is currently 10.03, so it's 20 minutes early. It's 30 minutes early, roughly. They came at 10 o'clock. And... Yeah, I'm gonna call and be like, hey, look, we need to talk about this because this is not what I ordered. The insects are what I ordered, but they're not adults like I wanted. I have a big entire 40 gallon breeder set up for these things. Which is a little overkill if you ask me, but oh well, hey, screw it. I spent all night building the damn thing and building the rosebush power of power and everything else. So let's get this unboxed and uh, let's see how I'm gonna feel about this. Ugh. So apparently, out of both phones, I've deleted the picture from both devices because once I refunded my money, I no longer wanted them due to the simple fact that they didn't have them, so I was no longer in the have-to-have -have stage. So I deleted everything about it. Great. Except the emails. I might find an email, but that'll be for a later date then, I guess. Alright, guys. So here we are. Here's the package. Extremely tiny. Like I said, I doubt there are two six-inch insects inside here due to the simple fact that if I order a sling off underground reptiles and i ordered two or three of them the box is bigger than this so i don't see these being adults by any means so let's go ahead and get the top coat open and start removing things so here they are the box is as usual extremely thick cardboard and they're these are not adults these are juvenile there's only one inside of here there's they're all in here in one in one container really and so here we are, are the African prickly stick insects, and they are juveniles. Now this one is a lot older, obviously. This one wants to play, and he wants to play the dead stick mode, and this one's starting to hit a little wibbly wobbly. He's so cute though. Yes, he is. They're adorable. I love them to death, but I'm upset the fact that they're adults. They, they, they're not adults. I'm upset the fact that I was not informed that I was getting juveniles, that I was getting... I was supposed to get adults, and I'm only yeah, like he's getting his, his score. They're scorpion mode right now, but yeah, I'm upset that they're not adults. Um, it'll be a few months before they're adults, and I'm really upset about that. But at this point, I'm calling underground, and we're gonna figure something else out because this is this to me. This, to me, this is unacceptable because I ordered adults, and then they're telling me, "Oh, we have them in." So I was expecting two full-grown females, and instead, I'm getting two juveniles. And you know, it's still fine, but it's still not okay. But cool thing is, I'm not really sure the Latin name on these guys. Let me look it up really quickly. Australian stick insects. That gum and I did it again. I said Africa. Just FYI, Africa it has cut off their ports, so we can't ship anything from or out to or from, and that means we're no more. We're not getting trapdoor spiders anymore. So that's that's not cool. Look how they're trying to. Re I would just like to note that here is the picture that I'm ordering. Originally, it did say adult prickly stick. Uh, whoa, he about fell. 
This is baby Australian prickly stick insects. You say adult. You say adult Australian prickly stick insects. They were twenty four dollars. Now they're twenty nine. Captive bred, approximately one to two inches in length, head to tail, which is one inch, two inch. And here is the actual name form. They're cute and all, and I love them already, but the thing is, I'm definitely calling underground, and we're having a conversation about this, because I ordered adults, and I got some juveniles. So let's go ahead and get one good look at these guys really quickly. Absolutely tiny. I'll have plenty of videos on these guys, and I'm hoping they start, I hope they grow quickly, and they lay eggs soon. And, well, the best part is, I mean, well, there is no best part. They're obviously going to be females. They're not captive bred. The females actually clone themselves. Uh, they reproduce asexually and create carbon copy clones of themselves. So that's actually pretty cool. So fun little, fun little fact, uh, when it comes to these giant prickly <laughs> stick insects, uh, one, they reproduce asexually, which means they carbon copy clone themselves. So they don't need a male to breed. The females literally just drop an egg that has a cloned version of them inside of it. Whoa, focus on them, not the background. And, uh, when the female drops the eggs in the wild, what happens is the ants pick it up, there's a fatty deposit on the end of the egg, just like with most seeds, it encourages the ants to grab it and take it underground. They don't usually eat the stick insect eggs, so the eggs just develop underground. When the babies hatch, they look like ants, and they come out black and walking all funny-like, with their tail twisted up like an ant butt. After about their first molt, they turn into their scorpion phase. After about their third or fourth molt, they actually turn into their adult phase to where they don't defend, like, pretending to be an ant or a scorpion. And this dude's even missing a damn leg. Which isn't a problem because they will grow it back, but he has some damage, and he's missing his leg. So, yeah, and it's uh, not in the package anywhere. And the overnight it's, it's not even wet which isn't a problem but here you can see their poop little tiny black balls um yeah so looks like these guys are gonna get dropped down to a 10 gallon tank until they get bigger so here they are guys hope you guys enjoy well it appears somebody has a question but i'm not sure what he wants he probably wants to know if i have any rose leaves maybe you're just glaring at me like you don't care like back away human They're cute and all. Still gonna make a phone call. So, once again, I just called Underground Reptiles, and as usual, extremely friendly as soon as they answer the phone, regardless of problems. Uh, they have not reviewed their voicemails yet. There's actually, I guess, somebody that reviews the voicemails, uh, and they're not in yet. But my buddy Eddie is in here playing with these guys. They're absolutely amazing. So, I called Underground Reptiles. I talked to a lady, I told her, you know, what happened, I told her my information, everything, and I told her that the ad that I bought for were adults. I waited two months, you guys didn't have them, then three months technically. Then you guys called me and told me, hey, you have my you have my prickly stick insects in stock. And I was under the assumption that they were adults because I wasn't told that they were juveniles. And she's like, they're she's like, they're nymphs, aren't they? And I said, Yeah, she's like, Yeah, we, he, she's like, Yeah, it says for adult prickly stick insects, that's what you were waiting for. So she sent me a form over, extremely bubbly about it, happy as hell like always when underground. I've never had a real problem with underground. A couple times I've been like, mm, but that's not really their fault. So tickle. Yeah, it's so cool, dude. But uh, she sent me a form over. I gotta take pictures of it with them next to a quarter to prove that they are nymphs, which I can just have in my damn hand. But I have a big ass hand anyway, so even a six inch insect is not gonna look very big in my hand. Um, <clears throat> but one of the nymphs is missing a leg, which isn't a problem because it does regenerate once it molts, uh, just like a tarantula. Does. In fact, all insects, I do believe, uh, will regrow limbs. But she sent me a reform. I gotta take pictures of the insects next, to like a quarter or something, to give a size comparison. I'm gonna give, a, I'm gonna use a ruler too, just to kind of give an, give a measurement. Because one is definitely one inch long, and the other one's two inches. And I'm actually shocked that one's as big as it is. You know, that's that's three, four, that, that's a month, month and a half old. That's a couple molts. Yep. Order issue from order issue from underground reptiles. Ching. There you go. Like I said, every time I deal with underground reptiles, they're always friendly. And mistakes can happen. But if you call them and tell them about it and you're cool about it and you're not a dick, you know, <clears throat> they'll work with you. They sent me a Goliath bird eater that had a, that had two up back legs. And I knew that when he molted out, they were going to be good. But I spent $100 on the spider plus shipping. And so I wasn't happy with it. And it's like you guys could you guys could have at least forewarned me and sent me a picture, you know, through my text message or email of the spider that you're going to send me. That would be amazing if they would do that, which I might talk to them about that. 
wouldn't be hard. They already have your number on file. It wouldn't be anything to text you when they send you the shipping notification, even though that is stock standard done. But, yeah, it's going to itch because they're little claws. <laughs> they're claws. <laughs> but, but even though they're babies, I don't care. They're gorgeous. They're adorable. They're going to have a smaller setup. I have to do a lot more work with these guys, which isn't a problem. I just really want to get my adults. And if I can't get my adults, they I'm going to have, I'm going to see if they can't send me four more babies to compensate for the fact that they, they're, they're, they're going to climb over. I mean, three babies isn't even close to the size of one. It would take ten babies to even come close to the same length. And the same girth as an adult female. But since I told her that I ordered adults and they showed up as nymphs, she just he's just gonna climb over it. <laughs> they don't breed at this size. Oh, oh he oh, fell. Oh, oh. It's fine. Oh. But since they don't since they don't have the adult, I don't know what we're gonna do. So unless she's gonna get a hold of somebody. Don't put them on me, I'm dealing with this right now. I don't know what I don't know what they're gonna do. I'm gonna find out. I know Under Grab is gonna do me right. Under Reptiles has always done me right. I've never had a single really really bad issue with them. And if any issues that I have had with Underground Reptiles, they've always fixed it within minutes. It's never been something I've had to wait four, five, six weeks for. It's always been something that was done that day. As soon as you text, as soon as you message, as soon as you call, they are on it. You can talk to them about information. I've even I've even quizzed them, multiple people on there multiple times, just for information. To see if they know what they're talking about. And god damn it, I will be I am not surprised that they usually know everything. Some things I'm like, well, I didn't know that, but, you know, but other than that, I, every not everybody's going to know everything, okay? There's so many damn things out here in the world. Even the scientists don't know everything. That's why we're still finding new stuff. So, we're going to put these guys up. I'm going to go and leave them in the container until I get back home. We shouldn't be gone very long. And then once I get back, I'm probably going to have to buy some stuff while I'm out because I don't have a setup for these guys. So, I'm probably going to have to go out and buy, like, a little, damn it. <laughs> What? Yeah, good I luck. I tried to put them back. He's like, nope. Yeah, I have to go like buy like a little two point five gallon something like that, some extremely cheap. Uh, set up some uh, rose, some oak, some ivy. I don't have eucalyptus. So that, that's out of the question. That's only in only in Australia. But we're gonna figure this out, guys. When we come back, we're gonna have them set up, and I hope you guys enjoy this video because even though they're not adults, I'm still ecstatic that I have prickly stick insects now. And if I can get these guys to adulthood, that's going to be amazing too because they're going to be so much, they're going to be so worth the time and the effort to show you guys the growth. And in my mind, I was also kind of hoping that at some point I would get a, I would get juveniles due to the simple fact of juveniles tend to live longer because they have to grow up versus the adults who could be already at their max lifespan and die within a week. There's nothing I can do about that. And there's nothing underground reptiles can do to prevent that either. That would be on the insect itself if it dies, just like if something dies in transport, if you contact underground reptiles problem with the shipment problem with the with the whatever that thing just said whatever this said uh order issue form you know do something like that you know you're gonna go this really isn't an issue for me but i did order adults and they were gonna charge me more and he's put he just put the baby on his face yeah watch your eye come here bro come here come here little dude Look at how cute they are, man. But he's so tiny. So it's definitely going to be fun to watch these guys grow. And I would rather have the babies right now than the adults, to be honest with you, due to the simple fact of I think it's going to be funner to deal with. And they're so adorable. But I wanted them the big, I wanted the adult versions. And they definitely act like babies. Oh, yeah. Well, they even act like this as adults. This is how they're going to act. But just the fact that. Oh, come on. Don't you get mad that she's getting all defensive. Look at her. Look at her. Wobble, wobble. No. Don't you grab me. Don't you grab me. Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. No. No. You're cute and all, but no. And this is why they're so damn hard to deal with. Because they're like they're like a slow version of a damn tarantula. They just do what they want to do. And if you ain't paying attention for five minutes, they'll be gone. Gent look. This they is my swing at you like crazy. Because they're trying to grab on. Just a swinging. And boop, 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 boop. Hey. I love the size of this one, though. It's definitely cute. But I wanted the adults as the wow factor. Something crazy to look at. But these guys are crazy, too. And I know my mother and everybody else are going to absolutely love these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to get them back in the container. And yeah, but I even told her, it's like, well, I'm a little shocked actually because you guys sent them both in the same container, which isn't a problem because they're not cannibalistic. They're, they're insectivores. They're not insectivores. They're, um, they're uh, herbivores. And, you know, so they're not going to eat each other. They're not going to kill each other. They're not going to fight to the death. Like if you put two tarantulas together, you're going to come back with one or both that tarantulas. 
But this is amazing. We got to get going to a job. So when we come back, I'm going to get these set up. It's kind of, it's, it's, it's warm in the house and it's humid in the house too. So definitely good. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I will come back to you guys with a setup video here shortly. Later.